what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Heather and I'm a travel enthusiast I love going to Mexico especially to the all-inclusive resorts you can get so much bang for your buck here so I love to take you guys along these trips with me so you can get a real feel of these resorts and see if it's worth your hard-earned money sometimes they're good sometimes they're not so good so i'm here to help you figure out where to go on your next vacation and mexico is one of our favorite destinations to travel to we go with our kids we go solo with just me and my husband and i love doing these vlogs for you guys so consider subscribing and let's jump into the latest resort i just traveled to Welcome to Breathless Riviera, an all adults only, all inclusive beachfront resort. Breathless claims to be a perfect blend of trendy, high and low energy. And I must say, I totally agree with that statement. This property was fabulous. It had great nightlife. It had great food. The rooms were immaculate. So if you are interested in this type of resort, please stay tuned and I will give you a fun breakdown of this entire resort and see if this is your next destination. <laughs> so one thing we loved about Breathless was it was a quick 15 minute trip from the Cancun airport to the resort and we paid about $65 round trip for both me and my husband. We used Happy Shuttle, we've used them before. We've always had a great experience with them. They're very friendly. And that was also a private shuttle, so no sharing the shuttle with anybody else, waiting for them to be dropped off. I will say the entrance to Breathless was a little different than the other resorts we've been to. It was a little off the beaten path. It wasn't as well manicured as some of the other resorts, but once you get up this little ramp and finally see the resort, it becomes very, very eye-catching and beautiful and very modern looking. I really loved the vibe of this resort. It was very tropical, but it felt very trendy and chic and sophisticated and luxurious. We were greeted with champagne and check-in did not take long at all and we were free to roam the resort until our room was ready. So I wanted to share how Breathless is laid out. Breathless has two different sections and then a premium side that you can upgrade to. Each section is a little different, one being more loud, one being more on the quiet side. So let's talk about these sections. So the premium section is called Excel. Now this one obviously is more expensive, but this pool is very, very quiet, laid back, reserved, definitely not your party crowd. So if you're wanting some relaxation and quiet, especially at nighttime, then you could upgrade to stay at this side and then hop on over to the other two areas for more entertainment. The next section is the energy pool. Now this pool has all the fun games. It does have some music, but it's definitely more chill than the party pool, which I'm about to show you. Now this is the exhilarate pool. This one's got your techno music, the dancers. It's got the foam parties. It's just the very loud area until about 6 p.m. Our room was located right across from this pool and during the day you could hear that music thumping. But at nighttime, it was very quiet on this side. So it wasn't too bad. Um, we enjoyed it. We loved going back and forth from the different sides just to kind of get a little bit more quiet. But then when we're ready to party, we hopped on over here. Along the COVID lines, their testing is free at the resort. And if you happen to test positive, you can quarantine there at the resort for free. Now let's start really getting into the vlog and the pool vibes and some of our fun experiences we had at this resort. So we just got here. Everything's been great so far, but I'm having a wardrobe malfunction. Um, my bathing suit is literally about to pop and it's so cute. I got this from Sheen. Of course, you know, it's hit or miss with that website. I'm gonna have to go change really fast. Look at this. <laughs> so I always get asked about my jewelry and my sunglasses. The sunglasses are Quay Australia and here's the pieces I always wear. They don't tarnish and I just always have to have something around my neck in the pools. So the links will be down below if you're interested.
So this resort has great people watching and fun entertainment if you want to record a little bit. I highly, highly suggest getting you a waterproof phone case. I carry this around my neck in the pool just to get some fun snaps to send friends and vlog this process for you guys. So definitely pick one of those up, links down below as well. Now we're back over at the energy pool and this is where they have fun games and in the morning they do some workout classes. If you don't wanna partake, it's great people watching. I love seating areas that they have down in the pool and also they have some really comfortable hammocks if you just wanna like lay out in the sun but still kinda of be in the water at the same time. Really good vibes over here at the pool and not as loud. So day two, and I thought I would just come on here really quick and share some of my thoughts with you guys. I really don't like to uh, talk too much in these vlogs, mostly just showing y'all like the amenities and what all the resort has, but um, the food has been so good. Now this resort is a little bit more expensive than some of the other ones we sometimes stay at. Hotel Eshcaret was like definitely the most expensive, but typically I think adult only places are, but this one's marketed as kind of like a luxury, all adults only, but awesome room. The pools, they're really fun. Definitely smaller pools than what we've been used to with the last few resorts. Um, the last one we went to was Moon Palace and before that it was Barslow and before that we were at Albero Star. So all those pools are ginormous. Um, but this, like I said, is marketed as like a party, kind of like adults only party vibe type of resort. So they're closer together. Everybody's just, you know, just jamming out like right next to each other. So just keep that in mind. I had to interrupt myself because that's not necessarily true. They do have some more quiet sides at this resort. However, the majority know this resort is more party style. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at this place. If and if that bothers you, you may not like that type of vibe, I guess. But yeah, they had a phone party yesterday and we missed it. I was so mad. We missed it. The pools aren't very cold, but they were colder like at the other resorts that we've been staying at than it would definitely have been a little miserable getting in the water because it's November, basically December. So yet another thing to keep in mind about this place that really kind of, you know, knocked my socks off a little, there is a nudie beach right next to this property. So if you are on the fourth floor ocean view, you're gonna see some of these people. We actually just noticed one of them like paddle boarding out in the ocean. And my husband's like, is that an ass? And I'm like, I can't see without my glasses. He's like, yeah, that's an ass. So, <laughs> I mean, they're right around the corner. You'll, um, it's called Desires. Great for them that they have that confidence and can do that. But I am in no way ever gonna be at that level. So that's right next to this property. Just don't travel too far down the beach and you might not see any nakedness. Moving on to my beach thoughts. The water wasn't totally 100% blue like I've seen towards the Riviera Playa area, but it was still very pretty. Way better than Moon Palace Beach like we experienced just two months ago. One thing that I did notice, they did have a lot of security, a lot of cops walking down the beach with some big old guns. I mean, I did feel protected. I know there's been some things that have gone on, but we've never felt unsafe in Mexico. Mind your P's and Q's. Don't get into trouble and you will be just fine. So since this was a quick trip for us, we weren't really looking to do any excursions that would take us far off the resort, that would take all day, but they actually had snorkeling right on our beach. They took us out just a couple of miles to this beautiful reef. We did see some crab, we did see some manta rays. Um, in just gorgeous, clear water. And it was only, I believe $100 per couple. We met this really nice couple from Minneapolis uh, that we shared the boat with. So I believe it was 200 total for all four of us. Their name was Monkey Tours, I believe, and they were super nice. I highly recommend it, especially if you don't wanna go far off the resort, but you do wanna squeeze in some time to see these beautiful waters. Now let's get into some nightlife. One of the main reasons why I picked this hotel, we love to go to resorts that are thriving at night. I'm not ready to go to bed at eight o'clock. So the nightlife here was amazing. They don't have their theater open, but they brought their shows and their nightclub in the outside plaza area. They had a white night where we all dressed in white. Then they had a neon, as you'll see in just a minute. Um, they had a Catalina night. So lots of different fun themes that you can dress up for and just have a really good time and get a nice show. my hair 
Yes. One thing that I almost forgot to talk about was the mask policy. This resort was amazing because they were not hounding you every five minutes to put on a mask. I think the only time we actually wore a mask was walking into the buffet when we were near that food. But other restaurants, they would seat you without a mask. I really loved this resort because they were very chill about all that. You know, you felt like things were back to normal when you came here. Canada, he is. is. That's what. He is. That's what. What is he doing? He's trying. Hey, Bellissimo. Hey, Bellissimo. Hey, Bellissimo. Hey, Bellissimo. Hey, Bellissimo. Hey, Bellissimo. Hey, Let's take a peek at the rooms here at Breathless. Now we stayed on the Exhilarate side, had a swim out suite. I believe all the rooms are basically decorated in this same layout. They all have a contactless free room service delivery and they have mini fridges and a beautiful open shower as you'll see in just a second. The only difference is ours had a little pool that was ice cold. I will show you in just a second, but everything else was pretty standard. Um, very, very nice. I don't wanna just say standard because everything was very nice. I loved the shower. It was amazing. The beds were comfortable. You basically have everything that you need in here. Plenty of closet space. Uh, the AC wasn't amazing, but it wasn't bad. It was just kind of average. I personally love a chilly cold room, but we passed out pretty quickly every single night, so I really didn't notice it. One thing I thought was pretty neat was you could change the wall lights above the bed. That was kind of neat, I thought. But yeah, just a really trendy, modern room and everything was very nice and clean. can't really get out of your room other than through the front door if you don't want to get wet. He tried, he got wet. <laughs> now let's move on to the food. I'm going to start with the snacks that you can find around the pool because that's pretty much where we chowed down throughout the day. This pizza place that was located near the energy pool, which is that middle section, was amazing. Fire oven pizzas right on the beach. You can't beat that and they tasted so good, you guys. So it's a little bit of a wait, but I promise it's worth it. If you don't wanna do that, you can go over to the Exhilarate side where they have a grill, they have hamburgers, 
nachos. They even had a little food truck set up one day that was serving, they called it burritos, but it basically was just like a roast beef sandwich, but it was still good nonetheless. We had to try it. One of my favorite things to snack on was the pico and chips, or as they call it, Mexican salsa. You could also go over to Bites, which is located at the top of the energy pool, overlooking the pool in the ocean, which was a really pretty view. This is more of your formal set down, a little bit nicer than the buffet options. Well, I don't know, the buffet had nice options, but it had just more of your formal setting dining experience. Spoon was the buffet that was located right in the main plaza where all the party was going on at night. Um, for breakfast, you could kind of get both lunch or breakfast, which I thought was cool depending on the time you wake up. So one morning I got some pancakes, but then I got some lunch, which I actually enjoyed. And just a quick video of everything that they have. Anything from Mexican cuisine to sushi to American foods and lots of yummy pastries. I want to give a quick shout out in just a second. You'll see my boy Ricardo. He made the best fajitas as they called them. They reminded me of like street tacos. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm still craving them. Most people don't get too excited about a buffet, but we loved going to the buffet pretty much every day for lunch. We've been, you know, day drinking quite a bit, so we needed to get some food in our tummy and setting at the Bites place that I showed you before took a little bit longer. So when you wanted to chow down pretty quick and the snack bars just couldn't do it for you, definitely come here. You can fill up your plate and go right back to the party. Everything was amazing here food wise. I mean, I get why it's a little more pricey. The food was top notch here. Now let's get into dinner. Silk City, the Asian cuisine restaurant was our absolute favorite. I feel like this is our favorite dining when we go to Mexico is always the Asian Japanese restaurants. The sushi was amazing. You got huge portions of it as you've seen. The appetizers, the spring rolls. If you come here, you guys, you just, you gotta try them. They were amazing. I think I'm gonna use that word like 20 times in this video. Then we're gonna move on to the strip grill, the steakhouse as I called it crab cakes for appetizers and empanadas. I got chicken because I'm not really a fan of Mexico steaks, but my husband did say it was good. We're used to Texas steaks, so it's kind of hard to please. The Italian, the Mexican, and also they had a French restaurant. We did not try because we loved the steakhouse in the Asian and we were only there for four nights. Those also had a little bit longer wait when we could get into the other places a lot quicker. Now, this is one disappointment of mine was the cafe. The coffee was good, but it was just lacking in so many different things. They had some decent ice cream. Other places they've had gelato, which I'm more of a fan of. It wasn't bad though, but there was just not much selection when it came to like treats and stuff to kind of keep you filled at, you know, after all the restaurants and stuff closed down. We just went to Moon Palace and you could get sandwiches, desserts, gelato, all kinds of stuff. And at this cafe, you really couldn't eat after all the restaurants shut down, unless you wanted to wait and order room service. So last time y'all asked for a hair tutorial, and this is super easy, even a, a dude can do it. So we're gonna show you how we did this bubble braid and I'm gonna finish this in just a second. But you just start out with a teeny tiny little section right here and then we're gonna show you how to continue on. After you do that, then you're going to tighten so this hair is not very poofy. And then I like to hold these while he pulls, or you can do it yourself just a little bit. Try to match it with the other one. Yeah. So you want those two to match like that. You actually did better than I did right there. Oh well. One bubble. And then we're going toward like at an angle or it's just going like straight back, like French braids. That way I don't feel like I look as bald. You can kind of like see them as I look straight. Pull it. Okay, I'm gonna dip down. I'm gonna hold the front one and he's just gonna pull out and match that side. Oh, that was about even. Basically you're just doing a bunch of ponytails and then each time you just pull the little section up and kind of like just bubble it, bubble it out. So this is what it looks like from the side. Now I'm just going to finish going down. I'm not going to raise up too tall because I don't have a top on. And 
and there you have it. You have super cute pull hair that's not going to be flying in the wind in your face. Super easy to do and I promise you will get lots of compliments on this. So that's basically everything I have for you for this vlog. We had an amazing time. Just a gorgeous property, gorgeous grounds. I wanted to show you a quick run through of each section, what it kind of looks like in between the pools. I already showed you the room, the restaurants, but this just gives you a feel of the vibe of the resort. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. If you did, leave me a comment down below. Let me know where you think we should travel next and vlog. I typically don't ever return to the same resorts unless we absolutely love it and i definitely will be returning to this resort so that's saying something it is a little bit more on the pricier side typically i like to stay under a thousand dollars per person which includes my flight and typically i always book on expedia just giving you a little idea of how i you know book my trips but i think this place is worth it i would definitely spend you know a thousand to fifteen hundred a person pop tops i don't think i would go over fifteen hundred for this place per person um hotel eshkaret is another property that we absolutely loved but it was lacking in the nightlife and just the fun atmosphere i know it has all the tours and stuff included but this has great food great entertainment great nightlife i mean you couldn't really ask for much more can you maybe bigger pools and a better cafe i don't <laughs> i don't know but we had such a great time here is a quick walk down the beach from each section of the pool over to the premium side and honestly you guys i don't think i missed out from not upgrading to the side it was so quiet laid back um almost too quiet definitely too quiet for my liking uh, i didn't really see much difference i think the rooms might be a smidge nicer over here but you're going to be paying a lot more if you stay on the uh, excel side so i was just fine where we were at i was content i cannot recommend this property to you guys enough definitely let me know if you're going to be checking it out i'm going to leave you with the rest of the footage and some fun photos and i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the year merry christmas happy new years and i hope you all stay healthy and safe don't forget to check out my other mexico vlogs i will be going back within just a few short months so i will see you in my next video